After decades of defiance, the Iranian leadership can still count on the faithful to show their support for the revolution. The Trump administration's hostility to Tehran has been met with fiery rhetoric and military muscle flexing. President Rouhani setting the tone. For producing all types of anti-armor missiles, air defense missiles, all types of surface-to-sea, sea-to-sea, air-to-air missiles, and all types of surface-to-surface missiles, we have not and will not ask permission from anybody. We continue with our way and our military power. The U.S. and Israel have long been the targets of the Iranian leadership's venom. Over 40 years, its fury has been echoed by die-hard supporters. No less today. We're here to show the enemy that we are always steadfast in supporting our revolution, and we are still backing our leader and our imam of the time, and will continue down the path of Islam. Western sanctions have brought their own problems for ordinary Iranians, but few, it seems, would turn the clock back to before the revolution. Yes, there are many shortcomings and lack of hard work by many officials, but we don't take those issues into account when it comes to supporting the revolution. You can imagine the pre-revolution era as a black, dark night, and now we are in a bright day. After Ayatollah Khomeini's triumphal return, the sheer unbridled rage against the West shook Washington and European capitals. Forty years on, with sanctions taking their toll, the inheritors of the revolution are keeping the flame burning brightly. Neil O'Reilly, Euronews.